pretty much everybody. Yeah. Um, that's why we need revival, church. Amen. That's why we need to pray. I want to read you a passage of scripture. You you can quote this passage. We've um, we've read it hundreds of times. We've heard it preached. Uh, book of Hebrews, chapter ten. And I'm just going to give you a thought of what's on my heart, and uh, then we'll pray. And I'm sure there'll be some others tonight that'll come and give us something. But Hebrews chapter 10, I just want to give you a reason why you ought to not just pray for the revival, but support it. Uh, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25, we all know it. It says, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, Amen. as the manner of some is. Even when this was written, there were people who were already giving up assembling together. And they were getting cold. And I think we all know somebody tonight that ought to be here that isn't because they've, they've forsaken it. So uh, then it says, uh, exhorting one another, and so much the more, what, as you see the day approaching. Now, I don't know if you're watching the world right now, but I see the day approaching. Yes, sir. And what that Bible tells me is that when we see the day approaching, we're not to back off and, and get right. slack and let up. We're supposed to do it more. Yep. So I don't know if you've been planning on, well, I came to church today. I might try to make a night of revival. No, we need so much the more as we see the day approaching because we're going to need more. We're going to need more encouragement. We're going to need more Bible preaching. We're going to need more fellowship with the saints. Amen. Now, I, I saw something today that, um, honestly, it, it broke my heart to the point I, I got, I mean, I, I was in tears, to be honest with you. And uh, it had to do with what our pastor mentioned this morning about the uh, uh, brother out in California in that congregation, North Valley Baptist Church, that uh, they had been threatened by the county if they had services. Now, um, I, I actually went home to just look it up on YouTube. I wasn't even thinking about them being three hours behind us time. Uh, I wasn't even thinking about that. I was just wanting to see what had happened, if there was a news clip, if anything had come of it. And I found their live stream, and I realized, oh, yeah, they're, they're having church right now. So they were having church. And... Um, I said, well, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to see what, you know, is going on. And the guy who was preaching was not the pastor. The pastor was sitting back there, and the guy who was preaching, I'll tell you one thing. I didn't know California had anybody could preach like that. That guy was laying it out there. I mean, that's Amen. what we need to hear. Amen. But um, after the service, the pastor did get up, and he told the congregation, he said, even during the service today, he said, two county officials approached me and told, told us we're being fined $5,000 for being here today. And not just that, it gets a lot worse for every day we continue to not comply with them, we're going to be fined $5,000 a day. Now, how long is that going to take to bankrupt a church, any church? Yeah. And um, that pastor, you could you could hear the hurt and the discouragement. And I did, honestly, I just, I realized, folks, we've had it so easy here in this country for yes, so long. We've we thought we yes, don't sir. need revival. We've, we've got right. it so good now here. Listen, I'm telling you right now, it's happening there. You say, this is North Carolina. It's coming here if something don't happen. Yeah. It's coming here. The devil wants to shut it down. He wants to shut down the gospel. Yep. He wants to shut down any church that reaches out to the community through the buses or, or through evangelism. He wants to shut it down and silence it. Amen. I'm going to tell you something. We need revival. Amen. question is, do we want revival enough to say, Lord, whatever it takes, whatever I have Amen. to do, whatever I have to clean up. Let me ask you a question. Do you want revival more than you want that pet sin yeah. that, you don't want, that you want to hold on to? Because if there's revival, there's going to be some things you're going to have to change. That's right. There's going to be some things you're going to have to get rid of, some things you're going to have to stop doing, some things, some people you might have to stop seeing, some people you might have to stop hanging around, some, some practice you, you might have to stop doing. When you get revival and you get close to the Lord, there's a cleansing going to happen. Amen, Do we want our pet sin more than we want that revival? I'm telling you, if we've ever needed revival, we need it now. Lord, have mercy. So let's pray. As we pray, let's take this thing seriously and let's beg God yes, to do what he wants to do. Yes. Amen. It may have been a long time since some of y'all have prayed more than two minutes. But now's your chance. And I'm going to ask everyone that can and will, you can gather around at least space so it won't be too close. You want to get down there beside your, your chair? Look, you pray for our country. Pray for our leaders. Pray for churches. Pray for your family. Each one of your family individually. Call their name out. Uh, me, pray for, pray, pray for traveling. Pray for the singing. Pray for everything. Uh, we'll do that right now for about five minutes since we have kids in here and we'll just call on God. So you come on right now. Amen. Everyone that can and will, if you want to stay there at your seat and pray, that's fine. Just bow your head in reverence to God. Don't be talking while others are praying unless you're talking to the Lord. Let's do that tonight. Let's call on God, y'all. Let's call on the one that made it all. Let's call on the one that can fix it. Let's call on the one that can change us, change the situation. Let's call on the one that can do something in your life. You say, preacher, I don't want God to do nothing in my life. Well, you ask him to make you want to because you're in bad shape. Amen, amen. Let's pray for our families. Pray for our marriages. Pray for our children, our teenagers. Pray for our babies as they grow up. 
Heavenly Father, as we come before you tonight, God, we thank you for this opportunity we have to be able to call upon you in prayer. Lord, I'm so glad and so thankful that we can come boldly to the throne of grace and find mercy and grace to help in a time of need. Now, Lord, we ask you, God, that you'd cleanse us from all of our sins, everything we've said, everything we've done, everything we've th- every word we've spoke. Oh, God, everything that we've done wrong or sinful or wicked, God, we pray that you'll forgive us, Lord, as individuals, Lord, as, as husbands or daddies or church members or family members or wives or kids. God, or, or, or Lord, forgive us. And Lord, forgive us of what we, where we failed you as a church. Lord, uh, where we hadn't done what we should have done. Oh, God, you said if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways. God, help us to turn from our wicked ways. Everything is wicked. Everything is filthy, ungodly things of this old world. God, help us to turn our backs on them, God, and walk with you and talk with you. God, I pray that you put every person here in a spirit of prayer, Lord. Oh, God, we call on you tonight. Oh, Lord, we pray. God, we pray for our leaders, those that are in authority, for kings, those that are making decisions. God, that's going to affect our lives and our churches. God, we pray for them preachers out there in California. God, that you'd help them give all the backbone like a saw log and a spirit, Lord, of boldness. Lord, that they might be able to stand in these evil, hard times. God, help them to stand against those that would shut their doors, God. Lord, I pray for their governors and, Lord, for our president and, Lord, for our politicians and, uh, Lord, God, for our police officers and for our, our, our local officials, Lord, our sheriff, God, and our, our, anyone in charge and anyone in power. Oh, God, please help them, Lord. God, I pray that you would send revival, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, let us see your power one more time, God. Lord, let us see your power one more time, God. Lord, let us see power that breaks the hearts of people. And, Lord, let our kids hit this altar and weep and and wail and cry and change us, Lord. Help us, God, not to be satisfied with our lives like they are. Help us, Lord, to be hungry, Lord, for, for something better, Lord, a closer walk with thee. God, I pray, Lord, that you just bless every single family in our church. Lord, bless every family here. Lord, there's not a family here tonight, as Brother Derek mentioned. Lord, that don't have a family member, that don't have a loved one. God, that don't have somebody, somebody in their family, Lord, that, that needs prayer. Oh, God, please, Lord. Please, God, please, Lord. Help us, Lord. God, I ask in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, God, come down, Lord. Oh, Lord God, I pray for Brother Spears, Lord, as he comes to preach. Lord, that you'd help him, Lord, to have the right words to say, God. Lord, I pray, God, that you'd help him, Lord, to have the exact message. Lord, let it be easy for him to figure out what to preach, Lord, and put your power on him, Lord. Oh, God, please, Lord Jesus, have your way in his heart, Lord. And God, fill him with the Holy Ghost, Lord. And and God, may your power come down. I pray for the Edwards family, Lord, that you would put your spirit on them. And Brother Jeff and them, as they come to sing. And our choir here, the ladies, the teenagers, bless Kerrigan and uh, and, uh, and, uh, uh, Luca, Lord, and Terry and Miss Desi and all the musicians, Lord. And help them, God, Lord. Please, God, please, Lord Jesus. Touch them, Father, we pray. God, I pray, Lord, that everybody participates in any way, shape, or form. God, that you'd move upon them. Now, have your way here in our hearts tonight, Lord. Let us draw nigh unto thee. Oh, God, thanks, Lord God, we pray. God, rebuke the devil out of here. We plead the blood of Jesus over us. Lord, I pray in Jesus' name. For his sake, God, do what ought to be done here tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Yes, man, hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God, help us to repent. Help us to repent. Yes, man, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen.
Hallelujah. All right. Amen. 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 Now, if you'll pray and you'll keep praying, and they pray, it don't matter if you pray the same thing. I've heard people say, well, you ain't supposed to say the same words over and over. The Lord said to use not vain repetition. Empty words are no good. But Jesus, when he prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane, the Bible said he came back and found the disciples asleep and went away and prayed the same word. It's all right to pray the same prayer a thousand times until you're waiting on God to answer it. As long as it ain't vain and not empty. Okay? So it's up, up to you now. You say, well, I've never been in a service like this. Really, I'm, I don't know if I have either or not. It's what I feel like the Lord laid on my heart. Come on, Brother Mike. He's going to say something to us now, and uh, we're going to pray again. If you didn't get through that time, pray again. And you know what I mean by, uh, when I say that, okay? Well, this morning I didn't get a, I left a point out because uh, I ran out of time because I talked not too much. Um, but in the story of Naaman, you know, Naaman was the captain of the host. Yep. And the captain of the host came to the man of God and he had leprosy. Leprosy is a picture of sin in the Bible. Right. Yeah. All right, so he came to the man of God with his sin and he left clean. Jesus is also the captain of the host. Man. But this time, Jesus came to the sinner, and Jesus left with the sin, and we can leave clean. Now, I'm going to tell you this right now. Our young people need to know that. Right. Our young people not just know it up here. I fear many people know it up here. I'm talking about down here in their soul. Amen. Look, the world that they face Lord have mercy. is a world that is so wicked and it's not like when we were growing up where you had to stay up half the night and sneak, you know, and watch TV and watch those nasty things or go to a movie theater. I hold something in my pocket. I can get to any wicked thing in the world at any point. Yep, that's right. All right? So they need to know Psalm 3.3. Actually, they need some parents if they're still in your house that will cut this stuff off and take it from them. Amen. All right? They need some parents to stand up and live godly and be that shield for them until they're old enough to do it themselves. But in Psalms 3.3... It says, and I read this in men's prayer meeting, but thou, O Lord, are a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. Yep. Look, if, you're, if the kids are going to live in this world, matter of fact, if we all are going to live in this world, we got to know that occasionally we're going to fall, and they need to know that when they do fall, they've got a shield about them. Okay, they've got a redeemer that they can cry on and he will hear them and dust them off and get them back up and they can keep on walking. That's right. Okay, we can't, be, we can't have kids that, that just stay down. Okay, and I'm afraid that they're growing up and they're just seeing so much hypocrisy in the older people that it's making it hard for them to live right. And I just pray for them. Look, don't have your trust in man. Get it in Christ Jesus and leave it there. Leave it there. And we need to pray that what we have and the faith that we have and more transfers to them. Look, I'm looking at my oldest son, my middle son, four to six years. They can say bye to daddy and never talk to me again. What about that? Legally, they can walk away and never talk to me again. When they step out of my door, there is nothing else. They don't need to know how to shoot a basketball. They don't even know how to re, have to know how to read. But if they don't know, they can cry on the Lord, That's right. and the Lord will hear, hear them wherever they are, whatever situation they're in. If they don't know that, they don't have hope out there. It doesn't matter how much money they make, how much fame they get. They have to know that, and they're not going to know it if a church doesn't get together and start getting on our knees and actually praying the power of God down in this place so that all the kids will know that there is a God still in heaven and there's a God that's still saved, and he loves them, and he's going to be there with them wherever they go, whenever they go. 
All right, we have to get back there. It's going to take the power of the Lord oh, Jesus. God. And we need to cry out to him tonight and call it down on every young person in here and every old person that's gotten cold and, and backslid. We need it all. Okay, we need to cry out to the Lord like they did in times of old. He's the same God, and he'll show up the same way he used to. Amen, brother. Amen. 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 You know, I know God's real. I know he is. I know he is. But, boy, we need him to give us fresh touch. And our kids do. They ain't seen what some of y'all have seen when you was in great revival. Let's pray God will let them see it. We're going to do it again. Everybody can and will. Let's crowd around the altar and let's pray. Let's get our hearts as clean as you can. Confess the sin. Get your heart right. And let's do it. Pray again this evening.
We desire your presence. We desire your presence. Please help us, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yep. Let's have the choir come up here right now. Yeah, and, uh, some of you that ain't been in the choir lately, we need you a little boost here, y'all. Come on up here and let's, let's sing one right quick. Amen. Come on.
All right, listen, we're going to do that one more time. Listen carefully now. Sometimes you forget about the Lord. God's only begotten. Sometimes forgotten. And sometimes forgotten. Whenever things are going good, you know. When things seem to the go Lord will shake you up a little bit. It'll make you remind you where you need to be. It may more than I find it. Yeah, glory to God. That I need revival. I'm so thankful we can have a revival. I've just Ain't you glad? What he did. to have revival. Oh, the we can't pay $5,000 a day. Thank God we're here. Oh, we can have revival. If I wasn't mistaken, I think there's a little breeze blowing in already. Yeah. Woo! Still good tonight. Yeah. It still good tonight as it was the night you got saved. God is exactly the same as he was when he made heaven and earth. Amen. With whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. I am the Lord, he said. I change not. Man, everything else changes. Everything changes. But he never changes. I love that song, What Never Changes. Amen. All right. Uh, Brother Mike, come on up here, and he's going to exhort us. We're going to pray one, uh, one more time. Psalm 85 is a psalm to the sons of Korah. Mm -hmm. And if I understand it correctly, as they ministered their priestly duties, they would sing these songs to the Lord. And in Psalm 85, 6, they asked this question. They said, Will thou not revive us again sure. that thy people might rejoice in thee? And, and I, thought about, I thought about in Jeremiah chapter 2 what another question the Lord asked. And he said, he said, Hath a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? But he said, he said uh, my people have changed their glory for that which does not profit. That's talking about, I mean, it's talking about Israel, but, I mean, we can apply that to us as a church right now. You say, well, Brother Mike, you know, Jesus is my God. You know, the Lord is my God, but how much time do you give him? Yeah. I mean, you know, a, a lot of things can be a God to you, and, uh, I mean, sports can be a God to you, uh, television Many of us spend way too much time in front of the television and not enough time in this book right here. And that's including me, you know. And he goes on to say, you know, he said, Half a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods. The question is, the nations of the world that don't know the true and the living God, do they ever change their gods? And the answer to that question is no. The Muslims, they never change their gods. Right. The Buddhists, they never change their gods, but we that know the true and the living God, we forsake our God so many times and we, we, we gather other gods to ourselves. He went on to say, he said, thy, thy own backsliding shall correct thee. And, and you know, I thought about what's going on this week at Shining Light Baptist Church is the most important thing going on in the nation this month. 
You say, well, br but Brother Mike, the Democrats had their, their conference last week. I know they did. And the Republicans are having theirs this week. Still, Amen. what's going on this week here at Shining Light Baptist Brother. Church Amen. is the most important yes. thing that's yes. going on in the country uh, this week or this month. Amen. Because we as God's people, I mean, the, the answer to our nation's problems is not in the White House. No. Really what's going on in the White House and who's in the White House a lot of times, most of the time, is dependent on what's going on in God's house. Yeah. Many times God gives us leaders in our Congress and our Senate and our Supreme Court and our presidency by, because of the way the heart of his people is. Yeah. And Amen. so my prayer for revival this week is what I'm going to do and what I would ask you to do if, if God puts it in your heart to do. I'm drawing a circle around me. I'm asking God to re bring revival right here. Yeah. I mean, I'm not praying for revival for Jeff. I mean, I am praying for revival for, for this church. Uh, but, you know, shining light, I want shining light to be the light that shines out to this county. Man. And the light, that, I mean, it could, it could happen. The revival could start right here for this whole nation. And, and the light could shine out to this, this county and this state. And the light of, of revival could shine out to the whole country. And it could start right here this week. If we, and it will start this week, if we as God's people will humble ourselves and pray. Amen, and seek God's face, hey, and turn from our wicked ways. God's people have wicked ways. That's what God said in his word. Yes, sir. You know, and he said, if you'll do that, he said, I will hear from heaven. And he said, I will forgive your sin, and I will heal your land. And I think we all will agree, as Brother Derek and Brother Mike and have alluded to tonight, our, our land's in trouble. Our country's in trouble. God's blessed America like he's not blessed any other country in the world. And, and I'm asking God to heal our land, but, but it's got to start with me. And I'd ask you to draw that circle around yourself. A long time ago, I wrote in one of my old Bibles, Lord, help me to finish well. Amen. Help me to finish well. Amen. And as Brother Derek said, that day is approaching. The day of the Lord's return is approaching. I mean, you've got to be blind if you know this book and you've, you've heard gospel preaching and you're saved and you have the Holy Ghost living inside of you not to know that the Lord can come back right now. Amen. Right now. And then those people that we know, that we love, that we work with, that are in our families, that are not saved, they'll be left here That's right. to suffer the judgment of God. Amen. And we need to get revived and that's, that's my prayer for revival, that God will revive me. Amen. Revive me again. Amen. You know, last week I got up and I talked about how we wanted to come and, and uh, cut the weeds and stuff. And I'm, I'm a little bit, I guess you might say a little weird about stuff like this. But I, I like one day a week I want my car clean. That's on Sunday. I mean, no, it ain't today because it rained all weekend. was down here. All, I didn't have time to fool with it yesterday. Ethan usually washes it for me. But uh, we, I like, a, I like a clean car when I go to church. I like my shoes clean. And I think sometimes that's because I want my inside clean to match the outside. And a lot of times we do pretty good fixing up, comb our hair, brush your teeth, whatever. But that inside what the Lord sees. We got the outside because the weeds are cut. All the carpet, I guess you smell how nice uh, the, the carpet's been shampooed. The seats have been clean. All that tape's brand new. I worked on that the other day. And uh, we want everything clean in the building, but we want our hearts to be clean. Amen. 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 Um, they used to say, before a man marries a woman, he ought to go look at her bedroom where she lives. And if it's a trash pile, that's the way his house is going to look. And uh, sometimes you, uh, sometimes you, you're, sometimes people sloppy outside to sloppy inside. Not always. But let's, let's not just have our outward hands washed and face and hair combed. Well, let's have our heart clean. So we're going we're gonna to pray one more time. 
And maybe you say, like, well, Brother Danny, I just don't, why, why would we do that? Because that's, that's the way you get the power of God on your life. You, it's, it's like being out in the sun. Have you ever been out in the sun and you think, my goodness, it's hot out here, and you don't realize you're getting sun. And then later that night, man, you keep turning redder and redder and redder. And you think, Lord, I got burned up today. That's the same way. When you're praying, it don't really feel like you're getting anywhere. And it comes in later. And it'll come in tomorrow night, Tuesday night and Wednesday. So let's come one more time. Let's pray one more time before we go tonight. And I mean, let's get down to business and pray. You pray for your friends. Pray for the people that's having bad trouble right now. Marriage troubles, financial troubles, job, stuff like that. Amen. Amen. Find your place. Pray as loud as you want, as long as you want. And uh, let's pray. Our Heavenly Fathers, we come before you again tonight. Lord, we know that in ourselves that we have no power. Uh, we're not, nothing special. God, And we don't even deserve to come before your throne tonight. And I'm so thankful for the blood of Jesus. Jesus come down, like the song said, paid the price so that we could be saved by your grace. Thank you, Lord, tonight for shining light in Baptist Church. I'm so thankful that we're not having to pay $5,000 a day just to open these doors. I'm thankful that you kept our doors open as of now. Lord, we don't know what's coming in the future. We don't know what's coming down the pike, Lord, in days ahead. But I pray, God, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' blessed holy name, that you'd somehow look down and grant our request and hear our petition that we bring before you tonight. Father, I pray, Lord, that you bless every family. Lord, bless every uh, person here tonight. Give our kids good night's rest tonight, that they'll be fresh and alert and be able to pay attention in school and be able to enjoy the revival. Lord, I pray that everybody's travel back and forth. Everybody have gas. Everybody have food. Everybody have clothes. God, I pray that you bless all the, the bumper stickers, the masks, the, the sign, the T-shirts. God, whatever is, is said or done that goes out of here, Lord, I pray in Jesus' name, the Holy Ghost of God will come down and bless every bit of it. Our Father, we pray that you bless the choir as they sing. I pray that you bless our special singers as they sing. I pray the power of God again will come down tomorrow night, even before we get here. Lord, if people will feel the Spirit of the Lord upon our kids. Let these little kids Ain't like Lillis Frankie and Big T and all and uh, and Tedrick and T, TJ and all these little bitty kids in here. Lord, to tell maybe sense the power of God and to tell always know that there's a higher power and there's something bigger than us. And we meet here to preach and pray and sing and worship. God, it's not just a delusion. We're not just it's just not just a figment of our imagination. This ain't something somebody just thought up. God, you're real and you made this world and you're watching us tonight. And I pray that your power will come upon Shining Light Baptist Church. May the Holy Ghost fall upon our church, Lord. Fall, God. May the power of God fall. May the wind blow like you did in the book of Acts, like you did in other times in throughout history when people prayed and revival came and hearts were stirred and souls were saved. God sent revival, Lord. I pray, God, uh, for every preacher, everybody that's visiting, that you bless them. Lord, we know and understand that the flesh profiteth nothing. Lord, our flesh uh, don't, ain't, don't bring revival. Nobody does. No singer, no preacher. But God, I pray, will cooperate with the Holy Ghost of God. Lord, that you'd stir in our midst. And Lord, that you'd move in our hearts. And Lord, God, that souls might walk these eyes under conviction and be saved by the grace of God. I know the devil, Lord, would do everything he could to stop this revival. He'd do everything in his power, Lord, to stop every family from coming. He'd make them feel like they're too tired or, or they're not going to be late or they're going to not be on time or too, uh, too wore out or too aggravated or getting a fuss or something. God rebuke him. Don't let that happen. Holy Ghost of God come down. Do a work, God, in our hearts, God. Do a miracle in our hearts. Lord, God, send us out of here, away from here tonight.
to, to reach people for the Lord Jesus Christ. Have you in our hearts tonight. Touch every life. We'll thank you for it. God, I pray, Lord, the needs will be supplied, financial needs. Lord, I pray for everybody's car and vehicle. They'll run good. I pray for this, this fellowship. Lord, I, I do pray that you protect all of us from sickness. Don't let nobody in here get sick, Lord. I pray that bubble protection will be over us, Lord. And God, hold it over us, God. Lord, that we could serve you and worship you and honor you. And Lord, start a fire in here in the next few nights that would spread throughout this country and land. God will give you the glory for it. We're asking this. In Jesus' name, we make our petition. And for his sake, hallelujah. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Praise your holy name. Praise your holy name. Praise your holy name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 All right. Amen. All right. Amen. All God's people said. Amen. Let's try that one more time. All God's people said. Amen. amen. Now, amen that preacher when he's up here. I know sometimes some of y'all, you love the Lord and you just sit there like this, holding, holler amen at him. That's like saying, sick him to a hound dog. That's right. That encourages the preacher. So uh, let's uh, uh, be here on time tomorrow night. Be here early. Get in on that first song. Greet people before the service even starts. Um, we're gonna meet with our ushers tonight. All of ushers right over here in this little section of seats right here. Just for a minute. It won't take five minutes. If y'all don't mind, ushers, uh, meeting with me. We're also, uh, uh, we'll talk to our nurse. We can make sure we got a nurse schedule. Uh, Ms. Leanne, Linda, how y'all will figure out something here for the next three nights. It's the Lord's, uh, Lord's will. And uh, I'd ask all of you that will to help us keep things picked up like papers, chairs getting knocked out of line, uh, stuff like that. Let's keep our auditorium clean. Kids don't have no business eating in here. I mean, a little baby or something, you know, or a little, little something, but not, not, Candy and Cheerios and Fruit Loops and and they get all over the all over the. Uh, you'd be surprised. I know where some of y'all sit. When you have to clean in here, there's piles of trash around where some of y'all sit. So uh, let's fix that. Amen. All right. Amen. And um, don't let your kids watch your phone during church. Again, just keep make them. I know it's tempting because that's the best best way to get their attention. But you don't want them to grow up thinking this is what we do at church. I, I, know, I mean, I, I know, I know, don't know. Listen, I preached and had them running around down there a little bitty. So I know, I know I'm not fussing at you. I have sympathy for you, honestly. I told Kelly, she said, she's trying to run the camera and trying to watch Frank and everything. Honest, I got sympathy for you. It's hard to handle all that. Uh, if one of you ladies would like to volunteer to do this Facebook ministry, it'd really be a help to her and me and all of us because she's doing all this other stuff. If one of y'all would like to do that or take turns or something, that'd be a great help. But uh, let's all pitch in here and have a great revival. Uh, we will uh, uh, pray. Go when you pray tonight, go home and pray again and be here on time tomorrow night. Pray for the preacher uh, that the Lord will help him, okay? All right, we'll stand. And uh, take your time getting out. Don't everybody flog at that door at the same time and uh, we'll, we'll have a good time of fellowship. Uh, Brother David, why don't you come up here and dismiss? I ain't seen this brother in a long time. He's headed down to Charlotte uh, where it works. Come up here and dismiss his prayer, brother. We're glad to have you tonight. He passed him through. Where you been, up the mountains? In Burnsville. Amen. All right. Well, this is, I'm glad to be here, but more importantly, thank God I'm saved. Uh, I've known Brother Danny for 28 years. Uh, yeah, 28 years now. Uh, but I just want to say I thank, thank God for this church. I thank God for him. Uh, I was watching him this morning and I was uh, listening to him while I was driving this morning. So uh, uh, it's good to be here, good to be saved. But Father, I ask you to give us traveling mercy as a go. And Lord God, I ask you to touch the uh, 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 services coming up this week. Lord God, Brother Spears is here uh, coming. And Lord God, I said you put uh, anoint him full of power. And Father, I ask you to. If anybody here, Lord God, the, the Christian that's backslidden, that's, that's about ready to go out, Lord God, I ask you to touch him, put it on his heart this week or her heart this week, and Lord God, let's bring him back to the fold. And Lord God, we've been saying all week, Lord God, it's close. It's close. We're about out of here. 
And somebody asked me the other day, he said, you know when he's, when he's coming? And I said, yep, Hebrews 10, 37. For yet a little while, he that shall come will come and shall not tarry. He'll be here in a little while. I ask you to give us travel mercy as we go. Lord God, I thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.